so we have to brush our teeth first because if you brush them after your makeup's gonna come off girl time to get washed I use Nivea micellar water now and I'm loving it that's right it's time to shower showering is actually my favorite part of the day I do actually have a towel on, sorry for me. Using the simple toner today. Now I'm going to be using my Aloe Lip Balm. I love this stuff, it's amazing. Next I put on the Visibly Clear. It's a rapid treatment for spots and I put this on around my nose area because I get a little bit of like uh, eczema, like rashes, it's just really irritating. Simple eye cream, just around my eyes, just because they get really sore. I don't know whether it's to do with my dry skin, but the eye balm really, really helps. And then again, the simple hydrating light, light uh, moisturizer. This is again, really nice. I am applying everything with a cotton wool pad lately, but I do use my hands sometimes, it depends. This is a clear mascara. I like to use it in my brow and in my eyelashes because it just sets them in place. I got this from Wilco's, I think it's about two pound. Really didn't cost a thing. But I like to um, put this on before I do my makeup. Sometimes I'll put it on even if I'm not doing my makeup. I feel like it's helped my eyelashes grow, but glow. <laughs> I wish, grow even. So I put that on as my base. And it's nothing special, but it just sets the whole entire lid ready for the colours. And repeats on the other eye, obviously, because we got to match. This is an NYX tiny little travel kit, but it is really used. Changed my brush to a flat brush now. I actually don't know what I'm talking about with all this because I have no idea about makeup, but these are the brushes that actually work for me, so. Next I use the Huda Beauty Palette. I really like this one at the minute. My sister got me this. I'm using the uh, two glittery pinks because I'm going for a very pink vibe. Again, I changed my brush. Next is eyebrows. I'm using a MAC brush and a Barry M brow kit. I use a light colour, a light brown. I really need to get a blonde one because I know my hair's really really light so I actually need to get a different colour but I just work myself my way through my natural eyebrows and I try to shape them to their natural shape really I'm not very good at this <laughs> so I just work with what I've got <laughs> and again repeat on the other eye I used the lash eyelash extensions and I never usually wear them because they don't fit my eye but these ones seem to. Next I use Pore Professional on the base of my skin with my Real Techniques blending brush. Um, I then use my Colour Fix concealer on my red blemishes. This is the spotty areas around my nose and the vein that comes out in my eye which is rather irritating. I like to blend this out with a brush rather than my fingers. It seems to um, blend it a lot better. So I just work my way through, dot it about a bit, act like I know what I'm doing, and then go into my foundation, which again, I used a Real Techniques brush and I used my number seven beautifully matte foundation and just blend it all around. Again, the Freedom Palette, this time it is with the Cream Contour Kit. I use a mix of the colours and blend these into my cheekbones, my chin, my nose, sometimes my jawline and my forehead. And again, blend this on both sides. Yeah, I'd love to do a blending. Next, my highlighter. I mix the Iconic London and the Master Strobing liquid, I think that's what it's called from Superdruck, and I use a different Freedom flat brush for this also, I feel like it gets the lines in well. Next, this is the Nude <laughs> Copycats uh, from Primark, and I just put this on my nose and my chin to just outline a bit more of the contour, and I use another brush to blend this out. I'm really not good with the brushes names and I can't really recommend them to you because I have no idea what I'm using so I'm really sorry that I uh, can't tell you about them. 
but there we go. That's pretty much it. Time to conceal these bags because right now I am paying 10 and 15 pence for these babies. So I'm using a MAC and a Revolution concealer. Or is it Revlon? <laughs> Conceal and define, and I use a brush for my uh, concealer around my eyes to blend it in. Um, I have two different colours, one that is um, a yellowy colour and then one that's really, really light. And then I use the blending brush with this, so I combine the two because um, I feel like I need to really cover up these bags. It's just like a year seven student that's got cooking and PE on the same day. <laughs> too many bags. So yeah, I then blend it in. I do find that my concealer under eye is, um, like it really needs doing and the blending brush really helps. I then added some uh, glitter onto my face. So this is actually real glitter, not highlighter, with some glitter glue from New Look. Next, it's the highlight and contour kit again, but the powdered version, mixing two of the colors in to again contour. Um, I have a very round head and I feel like I need to contour my face to give it shape. I then use the top three colours mixed together with a big brush to set it all in place. I feel like this just finishes it all up for me. I love this part of doing my makeup. Next we go into the bronzer. I love being bronzed. I actually fake tanned for this particular night so I want it to be very glowy. Um, this particular brush, I have no idea what it's called, but it is the softest, thickest brush I've ever owned. It is an absolutely amazing. I think it's Sonia brush, but I love it for my blusher and blending it in for that all over finish. And then I use um, one of the Real Technique brushes, which is like a feather one, just to blend it all in, set it off and get rid of any excess. Next, I'm going back to the highlight and contour kit because the highlight in this is actually awesome. I do it on the top of my lip, my under my eyebrow and my nose and the inner corner of my eye and I use a fine detail brush from Real Techniques for doing so. I actually love the highlight from this. But obviously I've mixed those two together for my highlight. I've also added some glitter and this one which is a goldy one from Primark. It was so cheap but it works so well and of course that kit. Okay angels, I finished my look. This is my look. Straightened my hair, choker. This is my finished makeup. So yeah, I'm good to go. I have my sister's birthday and this is just my uh, get ready with me, my edition. So hope you enjoyed it guys. See you in the next one.